37-year-old Jose Navarrete and his three-year-old baby boy, Jose Jr., were injured in a shooting around 9.30 on Sunday night just outside of their home on a farm called Rancho Lomas. According to Erminda Navarrete, she was walking behind as her family arrived at home after a church service in St. Margaret's Village. That's when she heard a gunshot and ran to check on her family. As my husband reached close to the door, we heard the gunshot because I was still like about 10 feet, not too close to them. When I hear that, so I run, run and I go and check what happened. And at that instant, he doesn't, no, he, he doesn't not even know what happened. He said, he think he, he was, he stepped on something and it was just a pop. But when I see my baby, I see the, the, the blood was running down and I said, no, I said, it's, a, it's a gunshot. The father and his baby boy were rushed to the Western Regional Hospital. Jose Navarrete was shot in the hand and the baby received injuries to his right foot and back. Erminda Navarrete says she doesn't know what motivated the shooting. She only knows that there was a minor matter with a former worker that happened on the farm, but she can't say if it is connected. The family now fares for their safety. My husband was backing him up. He was sleeping. I, my husband was backing him. And that's why they most, mostly get it. And my, my husband just get the two gunshots on his hand. Was somebody out to get your husband? Was somebody targeting your husband? Do you know? Well... He had a problem with one of his workers because he's in charge of, uh, of the farm where he's working. And they had a problem that's the only one that we s can suspect, but we're not sure because we didn't see nobody. They fear that um, if you go back home, this person might want to come back and finish off what he started. Well, yes. All of my family tell us not to go back where we, where we was living because they don't trust anymore, so if we could go uh, there again, they say, no, they don't want. They say, make we just leave and see what to do, but don't go back again and where we were. So what will you do? I'm not going back for sure, no, 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 no. I don't want to see. I get so frightened, but I'm at the same time, I don't know if to cry or to laugh, but I say, God, thanks, because you saved my son and my husband. According to police, one person has been detained in connection with the shooting. At this time, they don't know what motivated this attack on the Navarrete family. So far, we were not able to establish a motive, but we are following several leads, and at this point, um, a team of CIB and major crimes officers are on the ground continuing this investigation. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.